Welcome back. Megan and I are joined now by Monty Haltiner, craft brew expert. We are talking about one of my favorite times of year. It's beer yes. festival season. Woo! Brews and Crews. Game Woo on. The uh, Grand Valley Bank Brews and Crews Festival at the Memorial Park in Palisade is coming up on Saturday, May 4th. It's noon to 5. It's going to be over 40 breweries there. There's going to be lawn games, live music, commemorative mugs. There's going to be cider and wine sampling. There's going to be all sorts wow. of fun for all sorts of people. Wow. That's pretty good, right? different breweries. Yeah, and this is the festival a lot, of, a lot of the breweries love to come to because that park in Palisade is so much fun. And it's got that, it's like the initial spring festival. So we have a lot of cool breweries coming from outside the uh, the Grand Valley here from the Front Range and from down south. So it's going to be Very a lot of cool. fun. Very cool. And how's the weather going to be? I'm, I'm going to um, hold you to it if it's not great. We'll say it's great. That's <laughs> fine. We'll, we'll let that slide. I bring smiles when there's no sunshine. <laughs> the times are going to be fine. great. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So that is Saturday, that's noon to five, but it kicks off the night yes, before. Uh, we've done this before and we're trying it again this year. It's basically like a, uh, a party in the streets in Palisade. What else? Uh, we we're going to have a beer tent there with the guys from Palisade Brewing pouring their beers there. And then at nice. the three of the restaurants there at uh, Bricks, 13 Bricks, and at the Palisade Cafe and at 357, we're going to have beer and food pairings going on. So you can wander the streets drinking a beer, going into those restaurants, trying different food and stuff. So that's obviously, we know the the brews part. What's the cruise aspect of this? So there's actually a, a antique truck show that's located right next to the park. So Ooh. you can actually, oh, okay. you know, last year we allowed people to take their beers in there. And they're not these trucks that you can't touch. They're like old hardcore trucks that, you know, were old farm trucks, old fire trucks that people can actually touch cool. and feel and go and check out and stuff. So, and then of course you're also encouraged to ride your bike around the park in Palisade. So Always. This is nice. touch a truck, but touch a truck for adults. Yes. Okay, because it is <laughs> for, for the grown kids. And up, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. So, but you can bring your pets, I remember. Is that yes, still? this is a very pet friendly thing. As long as your pets are nice. behaving, they're going to be allowed. And uh, yeah, we just want people to come out and have a really great time. Enjoy the springs, enjoy Palisade. All right, not bad. So for somebody like me, Megan, I don't know what your beer taste is, but I'm not going to lie. I don't have the most advanced palate when it right. comes to beer. For somebody like me who would have no idea what I'm doing when I walk up to one mm -hmm. of these tents, what is your advice on what how do I fake it till I make it? What do I ask you? Uh, all you do is tell them something that you like. And if you came up okay. and you say you're not a big fan of, of, of craft beer where that are really hoppy, say, I don't like right. big, bitter beers. Do you have anything that's light? Or a new option is like the gluten-free option. Do you have any gluten-free beers? There are gluten-free beers. Yes. Huh. So there's gluten-free beers plus the wines and the ciders are both gluten-free. We have right. like one here called Wild Basin that's now gluten-free. It's a new trend in the market. We call it boozy sparkling water. And it's made with sugar cane not sweet or, or barley, so it's gluten-free. Okay. Interesting. Yes. I didn't think that would exist, but always really good to keep all those gluten-free friends in mind, for sure. Um, a whole bunch of different flavors, too, I've noticed over here. I'm excited for this. I like sparkling water. So Yes, this is a new trend. There's like a cucumber, peach, a melon, basil, classic oh. lime, all sorts of fun stuff. And on the beer side, there's always different concoctions. Right. You know, there's not just IPA and pale ale anymore. There's usually some sour beers, some raspberry beers, and just it, there's a whole variety. If you only wanted to taste one style, there's enough beers there that you could go around and just have that one style and taste it. Very cool. And I see we have chapstick and stickers. Yeah, this that's year. part of the fun of the festival. It's like every 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 brewery brings some stuff to try and get you know everyone to shine on to them and like say, what do you have to offer? So you know, I have like beer made from chapstick. I have playing cards with beers on them and fun. stickers. You know, they have all sorts of fun. I like that. Yes. All right, and where can people go to buy their tickets or for more information? They can go log on to the Palisade Chamber of Commerce or they can go to la, go to Google, just Palisade Brews and Cruise Festival, and you can get your tickets there. And if you can't get them there and you're, you're worried about things that are going on, you can get them at the gate, too. You know, we uh, entertain okay, up to, like, almost 1,000 people at that park. So. Wow, lots of options. Wow, yes. tons of options. You can go have a beer, wine. You can bring your animals in. You mm -hmm. can touch a truck. Lawn games, let's do it. Megan yes. and I might just No lawn darts, so just to we warn you, no just, lawn darts. Fair enough, darts, fair just enough. That can get dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have all that info for you also on westernslopenow.com. Hopefully we'll see you there, but we're going to take a quick break in the meantime, and we'll be right back.